Okay. On off switch, CIP switch, alarm light. Single phase connection, inlet for the cooling fan, product outlet, pressure relief valve, safety valve, CIP outlet, deaeration outlet. Main on and off switch. CO2 pressure gauge, digital, you can read it in PSI, bar, etc. Pressure regulator, precision regulator to enable fine adjustment of CO2. We have a CO2 entry, a compressed air entry for the over pressure pumps, product entry, cooling fan outlet. Chiller temperature 6.4 degrees centigrade. Current gas pressure 1.91 bar. We have the gas turned on, the air turned on for the air pumps. Product entry. We're pulling ambient water from the keg through the first bank of the chiller into the carbonator and carbonate. We now turn the carbonator on. It's now carbonating liquid. The carbonator will turn off when its chamber is full. We currently have the deaeration de system running. Pipe is in the bottle just to show it working. Carbonator has finished making carbonated product. We will now run it off. We'll first try through keg adapter. Oh, not keg adapter. Bar tap. It's currently pulling the liquid, the carbonated liquid, back through the chiller again will get here eventually. And now we've got carbonated liquid. You can also fill a bottle. Still for me? Mm -hmm. Similar system will apply for filling kegs with a keg adapter. Now work out the volumes of CO2 in the water. One point two bar.
seven millimeters, isn't it? Seven mm -hmm. degrees. So one point two bar, seven degrees. We have two point eight five volumes of gas in the product. When at this temperature, whether it's beer, lemonade, soft drinks in general, we can pour it with virtually no loss of gas from your product. You'll notice by the size of the bubbles in the product, there's not a major gas release due to oxygen or other gas contamination. And that's a product poured from a bar tap. What did you say? 2.85 volumes.